Okay, let me give you a quick uh, overview of the Aqua Augusta, also known as the Sereno Aqueduct, that is located in the northern part of Italy. Um, it runs the Gulf of Naples. Uh, the Gulf of Naples is very well known for Mount Vesuvius and also the city of Pompeii that is located in that area. And the Sereno Aqueduct got its name from Sereno, a small town in the mountains nearby, uh, where the spring um, of the aqueduct is located. And this uh, aqueduct that was built during the time of Augustus uh, by his friend Agrippa, actually it took about 10 years to build this aqueduct, uh, between the years uh, 30 to 20 AD, uh, started in Sereno and ended in the city of Mycenae. Uh, this Aqua Augusta, you can see, uh, is um, located right here. This purple line is um, its uh, its course, and it covered almost 100 kilometers. It was 96 kilometers long, uh, re um, linking Sereno to Mycenae. Uh, Mycenae was the um, location for the Portus Julius uh, that hosted the Roman fleet. Uh, we remember that Pliny the Elder was the admiral of, this, of the fleet when Mount Vesuvius exploded or erupted in uh, 79 AD. Anyways, this uh, Sereno aqueduct um, was supplying water to a great number of, um, of cities, including um, Pompeii and also uh, the city of Nola. Um, and also the city of Naples that you will see um, down there, a major, um, major city in Italy today, and ended up, as I said before, uh, in Mycenae after supplying some water to the city of Kuma. If we go back in directions of Pompeii, you will see that the main aqueduct, or the mother line, was actually um, splitting in some places in order to uh, supply some water to the different um, cities in this area. The blue lines right here represent the different minor aqueducts that branch off the mother line. One to Pompeii, another one to Nola, another small town over here, the small town of Attila, um, and a bit more a small line is linking it to it. Around Naples, we see also a small branch that um, goes off to supply some of the city of Naples. Same thing can be said about the city of Pozzuoli right here in this part of the Gulf of Naples and uh, finally uh, a small branch right here to the end that would supply uh, the city of Kuma towards the end of the Gulf. Also uh, along the line what we can see is some interesting things uh, that are related to the water system. If we go to the Castellum Aquae of Pompeii which is where the water would arrive at the very northern part of the city. Uh, let me show you first um, the uh, city from the top right here. If you see that's all the ruins of Pompeii and here the highest point in the city uh, you find the Castellum Aquae, a brick building um, in which the um, aqueduct would, would um, empty itself and then once arriving in this um, in this uh, building, you can see in the front of the building three interesting parts right here uh, that would divide the water. First, one line would go out to the public uh, drinking fountains of the streets. Another line would go to the baths of the city, and the third one would actually go to the and supply water to the um, individual um, houses. If we go down um, further down the Gulf, uh, we see that the aqueduct goes. Um, at a um, very slow grade around uh, this area, uh, supplying water to different um, in different parts. And here you can see how the uh, the the aqueduct kind of goes around the lake right around the edge uh, to uh, make sure that not too much elevation is is lost. You can see here a picture of Lago Averno, and you can imagine the aqueduct going right along the slope right here uh, before arriving in the next stop, which would be the Baths of Bayan. Um, Baths of Bayan that I will show you right now. Uh, right here you can see 
a picture of the bath complex of Baia, and um, the aqueduct again would be running. Here's a picture of the bath. Oops, right here. Um, if you look uh, outside of it, it went down at ground level. Um, the bath's in the foreground, and it's a hilly um, profile right here, and you can see the aqueduct kind of running its way right behind the bath, trying to keep uh, that very slow slope going down uh, the mountain. And finally, the last step is the Piscina Mirabilis, that is uh, located right above the Portus Julius, the harbor um, of the fleet, the Roman fleet at Mycenae. And this underground cistern was 15 meters deep, 72 meters long, 25 meters wide, and was actually um, able to hold up to tw well, more than 12,000 cubic feet of um, uh, cubic meters of water. Uh, this cistern is supported by 48 pillars uh, that are actually supporting a vaulted roof to this cistern. Um, so here we go, we are at the end of these 96 miles of, uh, of construction from the 1st century uh, BC. And let's just fly over this, um, this um, system right here, starting from the end point of Mycenae, the Piscina Mirabilis, and then heading back towards its spring at uh, Serena, here at the end of Lake Averna. Of uh, Naples um, in the back of Mount Vesuvius, that is right on my right. You barely see it. One pit to your right, going up to the mountains to go look for that water. And here we are uh, back at Serena. So, here's a quick overview of this Aqua Augusta.